365 days of clay cups. I am excited to be in my workshop, I have to admit. Um, it's been a couple days since I sat out here uh, because when I glaze and when I fire, I, I do it consecutively. I'll glaze everything, have it in the kiln, and then fire it up. This time I had to change my schedule a little bit. Normally I'm just missing one day of throwing, but I had to miss two. So I threw, luckily I threw extra so that I, I had cups already made and I'm not behind. But um, the kitty cat, I have a, a kitty cat that we found that's declawed. It can't go outside in the country here or something will kill it by morning and that's just life, you know. So she's going to stay here until I find her a home because I can't keep her. I am allergic to you. And here she comes right now. Do you want to see her? Come on. Come here, Addie. Yes, that's her name. She had a chip in her neck. The lady didn't want her. I know I said it on another chip. Come here. Come on. Come here. Come on. Okay, I don't know if you can see Miss Addie, but here she is. If anybody wants a very sweet cat, I really shouldn't be doing this. I'm allergic to her. But she is a princess. Yes, she is. Yes, you are. Anyway, so I am going to be throwing some cups out here, and uh, I'm ready to get started. And I hope you enjoy today's clip.
Okay, cup number 191. I had to guess because I didn't scratch and I didn't mark the bottom of this in time, so I have to scratch it in. This is a really nice cup. I was surprised. I thought it was going to be a little wobbly at the end there, but I really like how the foot turned out on that. It just feels good. It's, it's a nice balanced cup and it's not bottom heavy. To share that with you, this is also not bottom heavy. I like this form. Should have had a handle. It got too dry, but I thought it still looked good as a cup without a handle. So I'm perfectly fine with that. Uh, 192. Here's the foot. And when I share that the, the bottom heavy part of this, I have a bowl in my house that is a squeaky door with me. I made it way before the project. Stoneware, the, one of the first ones that I'd fired, and you know it turned out okay. We use it in the house for vegetables and such, but I notice now whenever I pick it up to get it out of the cabinet, it bugs me. And I'm thinking, why does this bother me to use this bowl? Because I took it out and the bottom of it is too heavy. And now I understand. At first I was like, oh, look at it's a bowl. <laughs> I made a bowl. But now I pick it up and I go, oh, I don't like you. And I don't like it because it doesn't feel right. You use your bowls every day, whether they're plastic, whether they're, they're not, whether they're ceramic bowls, and they feel a certain way. And take the time and look if you have never done that. I know ceramic people, pottery people do that all the time, but I never really spent the time to notice it. But now, for some reason, I'm noticing that this doesn't feel right. This feels bottom heavy, or the lip is too heavy on top and is too light on the bottom. Just, I'm starting to notice these things, which is kind of exciting because I think that's growth, and I like growth. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and we will see you tomorrow.